Okay, we go back to that breaking news from overnight now. An IAF family without a home this morning after fire destroyed their home overnight. KITV Force Ashley Moser standing by live at the scene on Pono Street with more. Ashley? Laura, take a look behind me. This is what's left of that fire that started shortly before 3 this morning. Eight engines called to the scene. A lot of firefighters still here, but all of it gone. And look at this completely charred out. We have video just into our newsroom from one of the residents that lives next door. He said he heard a loud boom, came out and saw this. The flames, I mean, reaching as high as you can see. He said the smell was unbearable and also they tried to move their cars. A lot of cars uh, parked on the street to kind of just get out of the way. Of course, the family now starting to Three people lived in this home. Luckily, all three made it out alive, and yet one is still in the hospital for some minor burns. Um, but we did speak to the family who say, you know, this is going to be a hard thing to have to come over. The family, we stick together, so we'll make it work. And mostly everything's replaceable except for their life. You know, good thing they're out. Can't replace their lives except. Just praying for the best, but know that the animals didn't get out. We're it's actually like, right next to door to the home, and some family members actually came right behind me, walked through the back, and were able to actually recover one of the lost photos from their parents from their parents' wedding. And you know they're very ecstatic about that. But of course, a great cleanup effort here. They said, unfortunately, a lot of memories gone with this fire, but they still have their lives, which is most important. Of course, we'll be sure to keep you updated on the air and also online at kitv.com. Reporting live from IA, Ashley Moser, KITV4 News.